Hola, it's me, Dinah. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you guys know I have some great news. Now, I'm not going to be all super enthusiastic because it's like a 10 o'clock at night out here, okay? But I just wanted to chronicle this for my page. January 1st, 2016, I made a decision that I'm going to be moving away from my hometown of California, Los Angeles, and I was going to Dallas, Texas for many reasons. I don't want to get into that, but many, 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 many reasons. And so basically, guys, I have a home. So one of the processes to get to Texas was to sell my house because I didn't want to rent it. May sometime, I can't remember the exact date, I did put my house up for sale and I made a video. And that was the big step because I did so many renovations to my house before I put it, I put new, I put new tile, I put, um, painted a little bit and I put cabinets which cost me a lot so that was prior and this is all since January so May finally my house was ready to put on the market put it on the market and nothing it, June nothing July nothing and um, it's nerve-wracking because school's starting and I have kids and I wanted my kids to start school in Texas so they actually had to start, they just in their second week now and here in California, and that was nerve wracking, because I mean, come on, you know, like I want to be out there starting new school year with them. I like this song. All right, anyways, um, so today, today is August 17th. I got an offer on my home, and it seems pretty good. Price is pretty good, I'm accepting it. I'm about to actually, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go on my computer and sign all the e-docs to make it official. So it's supposed to close in 30 to 40 days, God willing, gosh. So at this point, guys, this is the end. In 30, 40 days that there's no snags in, the, in this transaction, I am free of my home, and that means I'm free of California, and that means I'm open for Texas. So... I just pray that nothing happens and all you guys out there that love me, please pray for me. Please pray that there is absolutely nothing that will stop this transaction. Please. And all you haters out there, continue to hate. It's okay. You don't affect me, nor do you define me. And everybody that loves me out there, I love you too. I have actually made a lot of friends on YouTube with people that have found me because they are also wanting to move to, 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 to Dallas. So, all my little friends out there on Facebook, I love you guys. And I honestly can't wait to chill out with you guys and have fun. Because I've really made some friends. Not just like people that like, oh, we found her on YouTube. But like literally, I have met people that have been through just some stuff. Family issues and they you know we're beyond Dallas it's like they're telling me what's happened in their life and what happened to their children and and uh, I just I feel thankful for my new life my life that's about to start my life is not in California no more my life is in Dallas for sure I am in a nice relationship with a wonderful man in Texas and I'm just happy guys I'm really happy my kids everybody's excited about moving um, actually, my older child's moving ahead of me, so in her own place. So this is 2016, almost 2017. My life is about to be totally different, guys. Totally different. And I just thank you guys for watching me and being up, encouraging me. And I get so many compliments. People say I'm doing a good job with my blogs, and it's funny because my boyfriend, he's in Texas, and he makes fun of me. Like, how are these people following you, and you don't even live in Texas? How are you telling them about Texas? And you're not even there. I said, I don't really need to know about Texas. All I'm showing people is what I see when I'm visiting. I come, I go into a city, and I'm showing you what I see and what I personally think. And he just cannot fathom how people love me and know and come to me for advice. But it's okay. He's just hating. Anyways, um, you guys are all a blessing to me. Please keep me in prayer. In these next 30 to 40 days will be nerve-wracking. For me, because I do not want to, I just pray that nothing negative happens. And all I can say in the end is, leave, by, fall, um, walk in faith, walk by faith, not by sight. Because literally, I accepted a job in Texas that starts in October. Literally, I have put a lot of my stuff in boxes, and I didn't have an offer to today. 
I literally accepted a job and did not, and that was like probably three weeks ago, and had no idea when my house was going to sell. I literally took all my pots and pans and dishes and, and popcorn poppers and blenders and put them in boxes, my crock pot, put it all in the garage in boxes, about to seal them up, because I said, I know God's about to heal me. Like, I know God's about to take this house off my hands. I know God's got me got me ready to go to Texas, and I gotta pack up. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. And I didn't need an offer to let me know that God got me. That God's about to get me there very. Soon. I've already booked a U-Haul, September something like. And I had no idea that today I was gonna get an offer. I just knew God knew, and I knew God knew it was soon, and He was gonna let me know when He felt like it. And so, guys, just, just um. Just follow your heart. If you want to start a business, if you want to go back to school, if you want to have a baby, if you want to, whatever it may be, do it. Don't sit here and say, well, I need another 3000 Oh, well, I got to wait until this. Oh, well, you know, I got to wait. My mom's sick and I kept waiting. Look, guys, you can do whatever you do through Christ. You need to believe in God. Now, I don't know what to say if you don't believe in God. But if you believe in God, you need to believe in God. You need to get on your knees and pray on your knees and talk to God and uh, be obedient be a good person to people treat people with respect you know eliminate the negativity that you got in your life out your life every day of your life I prayed and fasted over this move I've done and I've only fasted twice in my life when I was probably 10 years ago and in the beginning of August and um, I just want to say to you guys you just have to have obedience you need to believe in God if you don't Go to uh, go talk to somebody that can lead you in the right direction in that, and confess your sins. And you know what I mean? Like, it's it's time, guys. The world is horrible right now. And if anything you can believe in right now is God, that's the only thing we can believe in because we can't believe in anything else. So I just want to let you guys know my news and um, keep me in prayer because it's a transaction that has to complete, and just pray that it's completed with no snags for me. And when I get to Texas, I will definitely be making videos for you guys every step of the way for all you guys trying to get to Texas. And like I said, I go to Texas about every three weeks, and I love it there. Of course, there's some stuff I don't like about Texas, but that's just normal. But for the most part, my sister, they just moved. Her and her husband left New York, moved to Texas, Dallas, two days ago. They arrived two days ago, and they got a job today with, with, with medical... I mean not like the best paying job but it's a decent paying job they actually make the same amount of money they were making in new york where you know the cost of living is crazy and here in texas they're making about the same amount of money with medical insurance starting day one um they got a job at the same company and nuts like how you show up to texas on what sunday or monday and you got a job on wednesday or probably monday they showed up on monday they came to Texas on Monday. They applied, I guess they looked online on Monday, got an interview on Tuesday, and got hired on Wednesday. My other sister moved about three weeks ago. Same thing. She moved from Miami. She moved, uh, and literally, she came on a Wednesday. On Thursday, she had a job. And she, no, neither one of my sisters applied for a job prior to getting to Texas. Same thing with me. I, got, I applied for a job. Two days later, a company called me. I was like, this is nuts. Like, Texas is booming, guys. Booming. So, God bless everybody. Follow me. If you want to be my friend on Facebook, just let me know and I'll give you my information. Everybody that already knows me and has been rooting for me, thank you, guys. I have been such a baby. I've been inboxing all my little Dallas friends like, oh, my God, my house hasn't sold. And everybody's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's going to sell. And finally, today, I've been blessed. God has blessed me. So I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.